Welcome to the next episode of the Legion Lads. Our regular host JR is not here today, but I am Jose and we are joined by Roman and the guy with the doctorate in Groguology, Mr. Nick. What's up, boys? Yo. Hello, hello. <laughs> I, pre- I appreciate you not having JR on tonight. As you know, it's in my contract that he's not allowed to. <laughs> speak about our games anymore so appreciate it <laughs> that's the only way nick will play jr now is just having him sign ndas <laughs> he's like sign this first it's also in his contract yeah. that him and rob yep. can never be on the same pod ever again <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh all right I boys think J- after i think after the vet fest jr is just seeing a different side of nick <laughs> <laughs> he saw w- winning nick who gets grumpy for winning yeah, that and then just the uh, the antagonist as well. I think uh, the, 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 for lack of a better term, the troll. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I've never seen somebody so angry about winning. Like, winning's a cure-all. I know. Nick was miserable. Yeah. Why do yeah. I got to win? Jeez, yeah. Nick. Because <laughs> he was wanting to have fun. And yeah. it's not fun if you win right away. He's all stressful. He, did, he didn't know I had it in me. So showed a different side. <laughs> man it's all fun though it's all great heck yeah, oh, yeah. Right, so no, what we're talking I, about today I had a lot of fun oh yeah my bad <laughs> <laughs> um so as you guys know we have our uh legion second edition not second edition where all the factions were changed um last week we kind of went over broadly um the game itself um some major uh rules here and there Um, So today we figured we got Nick on. Let's take a crack at the rebel faction changes, things that we like, things that we don't like. And then no better person to give us the um, the side of of things than uh, Nick, who's claimed for the last uh, was it two, three since the games came out. The rebels have been totally, totally but like weak and non-competitive so you got all these fancy keywords you stole exemplar from 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 uh (laughs) the clones what is uh looking at everything so far in a nutshell what is your uh, opinion now of your poor poor rebels so to be to be fair the rebels aren't always bad but they've been bad for a while and i guess not even and and to be fair not bad i mean you can still play them and you can still win obviously you can still win games but it just you always just felt it such a uphill disadvantage against some of the other armies um yeah you have, you have to save play life. it so perfect yeah to stay in the game <laughs> like it's just not a lot of margin yeah of error for yeah or, or there was maybe only by the skin of their teeth you're supposed True. to win with one pathfinder with three recovered supplies hunkered down somewhere <laughs> i i know but the problem with that is they changed the infiltrate rules which <laughs> they changed the infiltrate the rules they changed they changed the when uh suppression and how it affects you and panicking how it affects you and scoring objectives like so actually yeah. that's that, that kind of kind of brought that up that's actually when everything changed when the crb changed i felt like that's where uh some of the tricks the rebels had got left behind at least maybe some of the tricks that i would use with the um, original that, change to the CRB. yeah when the uh, crb yeah from, the, not, the first 2.0 yeah not this january but last january right okay yeah um so two two january yeah, like ago. the 2.0 mm-hmm. yeah that's that's what that's why and i felt like was our last big change right and then this obviously was a very big change yeah um you know and and just kind of just start on that so as you guys know i've been wanting a change to legion remember i, I you know as you guys know, i told you i told them i might not even play legion at lvo i might go play shatterpoint instead i, I know play shatterpoint with you <laughs> <laughs> but because and and not because because i felt like nothing i went to lvo last year i felt like going to lvo in the next couple months it was just going to be the same. Like it wasn't yeah. going to be any different. I didn't even have any new rebel units. Like, so it was just like, it was, so that was, that was why I was feeling it was kind of stale for me, just for me. Um, but now it's obviously totally different. Now it is totally different. And, but, so I wanted this change and AMG said, okay, we're going to make changes, but I, now I feel like I said my safe word and they didn't listen and they just kept going and they made a lot of changes and <laughs> and it's it completely 
completely blew me away with how much they changed. That's uh, the best explanation I've <laughs> ever heard. I, I wanted them to go past the first knuckle, but not the third, and they put the whole thing in there. <laughs> and, and and so I think I think overall, overall, I like what they did, but. Yes, so I think it's a step in the right direction. Yeah. It's just a lot. It's, it's a lot. just a lot all at once. Yeah, but specific to Rebels, <laughs> I think it hurt Rebels. Really? I, I, I think Rebels will fare less well in this new system than the previous system. Are you looking at the same Rebel cards we are? Because, yes. uh... Uh-huh. I, I think yeah. what he means is the game overall, though. Mm-hmm. Having to score every round. Oh, and yeah. Try not they have to, to die. fight. Yeah. They have to fight. So yes. y- you have to yeah. fight every round. The game is much more um, much more bloody, right? You're going to lose units. They didn't, they didn't change so much that my Rebel Army can now stand out there and fight with you and shoot you, back. You, you lost We're your gonna... Luke missile? Yeah. Well, they, and they didn't even like. And that we'll go to the, get to that point next. That, that, that point net, but so they they didn't change enough where I can I can fight you. Rebels had to yeah. play tricky, right? We had to play tricky. We had to steal the box and run. We had to you know scouting party the hostage and get away. We had to we had to transport our our Luke or our Wookies into your line, right? Um, or just just, just the last term we had. Put R two in a land speeder over on the side and make you chase it, right? <laughs> they they took yeah, they yeah, took yeah. they took all that way. It's all gone. Like it's all all gone. All those tricks are gone. There's and agile's all... not enough to make up for that. Agile's not no not at all. Especially when you took away cover. All you're giving me is two dodges. Yeah. That was heavy cover in the old game. So yeah, you're right. You're right. I didn't they, think about that. Yeah, it's it's two and again, and I and I and I don't want to sound too uh too over the top like it's no, not I'm the, let I'm it not out saying, let it flow nick we well, we've been letting it flow for like since it happened we have not saying that you. yeah i'm not saying that rebels can't win obviously anyone could put an arm in the table and can play and win right but i just feel like these changes are not conducive to what rebels did before and they didn't change the army enough to that they can do something di- different right so right. i'm gonna have to control these two three objectives out in the middle of the table right next to the other person's army instead of having to protect one objective like in the old game right before in the old game there was multiple missions where i had to protect one thing right one box or one hostage and that was easier to do with with being more trickery with your army versus now he's got to stand on this point and shoot you and you know i'm gonna have to stand there and shoot you and you're gonna shoot me back i i just don't think see how i'm gonna survive no, and the, uh, do I, ex- did I hear this correctly? But do vehicles and stuff not displace anymore, or are they still displace? They, they do they not don't. displace they anymore. So, so how does that work then? And you like, can walk uh, through them now. You just can't drive on things now. Yeah, you, can't drive you, on you people. just you have to have a legal placement. You can anything could go Ooh. through anything, but you just have to be able to place it legally. See, I was gonna say with the uh, for the rebels, I think the one thing that would have helped would be the bus. You know, being mobile cover, blocking off lanes, and people can and walk like through a the bus now. Medic. It, that's fine as long as they can't shoot through it, right? To keep your guys alive. Um, but yeah, if you can't displace you, they can just box you out of positioning to keep that keep you from doing that too. That's rough, man. And, and, um, and they took away full armor, so it's even easier. Yeah. To the so now it just dies. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking clones look at it and it just gets deleted. And so my thing is like I'm tripping out on about, about that. Like I see the arm X keyword and I'm 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 thinking like. So, for instance, the Saber and the AAT have armor five. So you have mm-hmm. to get five hits, if they're not crits, five hits before you can even force a die roll onto a vehicle. Yeah. So how is that soft, yeah. exactly? Unless well, you have impact. Because, because... When's the last time you spike five hits? Oh, that's going to happen all the time now. Think, now, think about how With many times... Units. Yeah, think about how many times clone fire support could do that. Really, every army could do that. Now you can... Roll double the amount of dice with double if the size. If you pay units. for an upgrade, if you pay for an upgrade, that's fine. You're gonna, you're gonna pay for it. You're gonna. Yeah. Pay I'm for not. It. Well, maybe you don't have to because your red saves. No, I'm <laughs> playing CIS. So, so. Oh, you're oh, the, CIS. The, the, the compelling argument that I heard, that I agree with, is big squads. 
have to make a big impact because they're gonna they're they're, they're gonna be harder to hide, harder to 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 get cover. So yes, you will have these extra minis and stuff, but it's easier for a small one man, not one man squad, but you know, your generic four to six, it's way easier to hide that and get cover with that than a 20 man B1 unit. So there's give and take to it. From what oh, I'm sure. seeing, a lot of people are like one trick I'm seeing is with Yoda that I'm looking at is there's the clone players are taking one or two giant clone blobs and the Balls, rest is yeah. all small units. So Yeah, and I, I think that's going to be the way to do it for a while. You use the big blobs, like you use the big groups of troops to hold objectives that you don't want to mm -hmm. lose. Yeah. Cuz you're going to yeah. be constantly contesting. Yeah, not every unit. You're not going to double every unit. Yeah. But you are going to double yeah. some like, because... like for the rebels, for the rebels it makes I I think with the amount of dodge tech tech you're getting, the boom you're getting from new Leia and all that stuff, like I think rebels taking those big things big blobs are actually good for them in terms of fighting back so so again i'm not i and i don't discount that it it's because it'll be your 10 it, 10 black dice to yeah you know i don't discount whatever. that they're not better or not good obviously rebel troopers with adding agile is better than the older re, old rebel trooper I, but yeah. but i now have to put that rebel trooper more in harm's way than i had did before and i don't and the covers change I, that's what I just don't think that wasn't enough for that rebel trooper unit to stand out there and hold a point. My rebel, my rebel troopers didn't stand out anywhere. They were <laughs> hiding all the time. And so they didn't do giving them agile so I can get a dodge, you know, maybe two um, for that first attack. And then I, and I only won after that because of nimble. I mean, that's not, that's not that much a difference from, compared to what it was in the old game and how little they got shot compared to how much they're going to get shot if I want them to hold points in this new game. Right. Yeah, I understand that. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah but no, you're right. It, it's just rough because, yeah, you're right. Rebels didn't get anything new keyword-wise, faction-wise, which has been an issue with the original trilogy stuff, right? Is uh, Empire and Rebel don't get the cool keywords for the armies overall in general. Um, it's just a bunch of individual units. Yeah, sure, we get a lot of surge, you know, up and down on a lot of units, but it doesn't make a huge difference like the clone sharing, you know, token sharing mechanic or the, uh, the daisy chaining orders did for the CIS. They just get such high advantages with good units versus the old stuff that's just trying to do, like you said, every little trick just to stay relevant. Um, yeah. So we were always our heroes, right? Rebels were heroes, rebels are tricks. And that's, and that's how I feel like I don't, I don't know if I have, I don't know if I have that as much as I did before. And here's, it feels like they pulled the curtain back the, and you got to try to hide the card wherever you can now. Yeah. <laughs> they pull the like rabbit wherever however you can. Like my poor little airspeeder. It's like, what is it? Armor, <laughs> my poor armor three? Oh, yeah. My no, armor dude. three? That thing, I, that thing got shot out of the sky anyways. And now it has armor question. three. I, I don't know if I can it. bring it now. Did the rebel, so, so the clone ATRT got bumped up. Lost full armor, got armor too, but now is throwing red defense dice. Did That's the crazy. Re did the rebel HRT get? Nope. White saves. White saves. <laughs> armor two. Wow. Armor two. White saves. Why not? So yeah, red? So does that, it yeah, surge? So, yeah, surge is surging white. But but now yeah, definitely barely played ATRG before. There's no reason to bring yeah, ATRG. It'll get, I would it'll think get that if they had red, they would be red. The red, a red search to crit ATRTs would be played in Rebels, I think. Yeah, yeah if it was, if it was red crazy, save, sure. Dude. If it was red save, sure, but not white armored. Dude. It'd be reasonable, yeah. Dang, yeah. dude, I didn't know about that one. What about your land speeder? Talk. What are your thoughts on the land speeder? Uh, I can't put anyone in my land speeder anymore. That's the thing. So I That's can't put crazy, Luke, right? Can't put Luke in my land speeder. No, it's because like a super scout, still right? Shoot. You could transport, still... but no, you spit them out. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, no. There's no. There's no transport on the land speeder. Oh, they got rid of that at all. It, they got rid all. of it. Yeah. So what's the yeah. point of bringing it? Exactly. I mean, my land speeder has been unpainted. I only bought it for the little uh Twilight mini to sit on my bus. Yeah. I so, <laughs> the, the land speeder is still useful in just that it's not very expensive. It 
it does have guns that you can put on it, right? It can fly around. And it's a now micro that air speeder. Now that all um everything can score, right? So my land speeder yeah, can go out there does. and score points. So it's not a dead unit, but it's definitely not what it was used for before at all. Right. What do you think of um of the uh sniper change? Because now your commandos get to bring snipers for free as detachments. Uh, so, it's not free. You still got to pay for well, it. You still well, but yeah, but it doesn't count on your. It doesn't count yeah. on your cat. So he could bring your strike squads. Is what you mean? Of, strike teams. So he could do like, for instance, instead of doing six rebel troopers, he could do three to meet the minimum, and then do pseudo core with three three uh, uh, commandos, commandos, and then still have his strike three strike in the back. teams. Yeah. So, um, that's actually the one thing I hate about the change. I don't like really? the attachments. Uh, I don't like that attachments don't count against the maximums. I but you can get that. six free Mark twos I now. I hate that. I hate. That. I hate when you play I three hate... of them. Now you get six. No, I I don't want the... um I don't want activation bloat. I hate. That's the one thing I don't like. I don't like activation bloat, and that's what that new rule does. If there was if there's one thing I could say that I absolutely one hundred percent disagree. Do not like the change. I do not like that attachments don't count against your maximum. I do not like that at all. I don't like that at all. I don't. I don't think, and maybe I'm wrong. I don't think anyone is going to want to go to a tournament and play against a 22 act list that takes forever and you get through like two turns. I, I yeah, know. that's the problem that you want. They were only at what 13, 14 acts. 14, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the consensus right now is like the game's still fast, no matter how many acts you have. That, that's true. That's possible. That's, that that could happen. I just I I don't. But I don't even like it at its core. I I was always even like I hate. I didn't like more than twelve acts. Like I don't. I never wanted it to get to that level. So I don't like that. It gets rule. a little ridiculous. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm staying with as many acts as I have tokens because I'm not buying more tokens. <laughs> 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 I'm not buying more tokens, dude. I'll but, take. I'll take full BX BXs with the sniper. I'm not taking detachments because I don't got yeah. three extra special forces. Tokens. But to kind of answer your original question about the strike teams, um, yeah. I didn't really. I've never been a strike team player. I've never played the sniper rifle. I've barely even played my commandos because um, I I don't know they just never that good. I wanted always the bombs to be better. So I guess I'm kind of maybe neutral on that because I've never they changed really the bombs. It's not a bomb anymore. Really played. What does it do now? Yeah, it's not a bomb anymore. It's yeah, a it's a it's a range it's one just a melee, melee it's a... attack. Range Why? one melee one. Token, no yeah, saboteur it's has like tokens weapon. now. Yeah. The only the only bomb in uh, the yeah. game that that's a token now is Bosk and Cad. And there's no other bomb Sabine. tokens in the game. It's Sabine. Oh, yeah, Sabine. It's Sabine. Sabine. Yeah. Sabine. But how good was Sabine's yeah. bomb? I never got payoff from that. Oh, her bomb was freaking gnarly, dude. Yeah, I could... never got a payout out of it. It could be good. It could be good. It could be good. But yeah, so and that's and that's and that kind of another thing I did not like about what they did with the rebels or what they did with the whole with everything. They only did half of it. And not even half. Yeah. They didn't do all the units. They they and they even said that they're not done and they're gonna do a second phase, right? Of units. So I, I'm correct on that. Some... I heard, yeah. I heard that. No, I mean during Mini Strike they said they aren't done. This was their first pass. They're going to do the rest of the units. At yeah, the rest date. of the units are supposed to come at the mm -hmm. end, like uh, at like Gen Con or some big con yeah. event. Yeah, the road. Um, I hate that. I hate. I'm that. with you. Why did you give me half a game? Why did you give me half a game? Why do I now have to play this game with you not? touching any of the units i like to play and maybe i'll be a little selfish in saying this but all the units i like to play you didn't touch or you do anything your own with. tool so i have to play with those old units in this new game that six months from now you're going to tell me oh none of those units were good in this game here's now the good ones like i don't that ah that drives me nuts i hate i feel like this is like a kickstarter rollout they gave me a kickstarter <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and, and, didn't, and didn't and didn't finish and didn't finish making the game and i don't i don't want to be too negative on that but that also drove me nuts like they when i looked at that page and saw all the units that they redid i'm like wait a minute like none of my rebel units are here where's cassian where's Jin? where's pathfinders where's well, like where's some of them the aren't gonna Wookiees? get mandos some of them aren't gonna get reworked because ah. they, there was a hard cap they said certain units that were made after a certain time are not getting revised but all those units I just named are really old. 
those are all really old units. Yeah. Cassian Jin, they're they're pretty old. I mean, I, Cassian it came out a long and time K2's ago. Are the old plastic, right? No, K two is hard plastic. I no, they're hard. They're hard. They're hard plastic. Yeah, they're yeah. hard. Yeah. Jin was soft plastic, if I remember okay. correctly. Yeah, yeah Jin was that. early, early. I early. know Jin is. Yeah, Pathfinders that, are early too. So that bugged me a little bit too. That I feel like they only gave me half of what I need to play with. So what I'm hoping they're doing is they're holding, reserving like a lot of these units that didn't get touched to be like, all right, what needs help? Like, oh, this faction doesn't have anything. Let's overtune some of these guys, you know, or make them a little bit better. Um, like the Mandalorians, maybe we'll make them good now for the rebels, right? <laughs> 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 like the Mando resistance. I don't know. We'll see. I'm hoping, I'm hoping they do a, a pretty decent job. Um, what about Grogu? What do they do with Grogu? So that is, I guess, I guess I could be positive about that. I'll be positive about that. Although I still have a I still have a negative thing about that as well. Jeez, um, nothing but oh, negativity. No. I know. Negativity. Right. You're supposed negative to be the bright Nick side today. here, Nick. All right. Well, okay. So I'll say I'll say the negative thing first, so we can end on a positive note. So why is he still 17 points? Omega is 10. Yeah. She gives she gives a health. She That's has an crazy. ability. And and no, and even though they lessen Grogu's side, and no downside. Why is why is he seventeen? I still don't get why he's seventeen points. In to give to give a hard. victory point um, away. That only deflects one kill now. Yeah. So. <laughs> so. My unit only no longer exactly, gets one shot yeah. by by six surging Grogu. Yeah. Gosh, I didn't even think about that till now. You're right. Yep. My my hand thing. That card is that card's bad now. <laughs> um, but on a positive note, yes. <laughs> on a positive note. You actually have to have a bounty hunter to collect that victory point when you kill Grogu. So that is a good thing because, yeah, I if for for people listening that don't know, I've pretty much exclusively played Grogu since he came out in almost every single game I've played. He even took him to LVO. Um, can't yeah. tell me how many games I've lost because <laughs> they took Grogu. Yeah, <laughs> even at Vest. And, and, yeah, even yeah. at Vest. Um, so yes, it's nice that that. It's still a little bit downside, not as bad. Don't have to worry about a Jedi walking up to Mando and killing Mando and taking Grogu and then winning the game, right? So at least at least it's gotta be a bounty hunter to do that. That is nice. I do that's gonna be better in the overall. But but if when I do play that bounty hunter, it's gonna stink when they when they bounty Mando and then when they kill Mando, they get two victory points. <laughs> one they get from, two victory points. One yeah. from Mando and <laughs> one from Grogu. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get gonna... close to him to get it. So but Mando's got to get close. Mando gets close. Mando doesn't that's fit true, in yeah. the back line. He's got to yeah. go up there too. So Mando's going to be close. And hey, hey, probably... hey, he has he has long shot. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to I, give that... you the bright side here, Nick. Range. Well, and and this is where this is where um, with the new cover rules, smaller dice pools will do more. Right Dude, before you Han, could play Mando Are that you way. Be playing Han. It'd be nice if they gave me a new Han card. I, I, Han, Han's dice is not enough. Look at Le, Le rolls like what three red or something. Han and I, Han all the, and all the commanders need, need three new command cards. But dude, uh, Han, I'm gonna say right now they need three. Yeah, new they need cards. definitely. Han, Han the with commanding. the Pierce two and the new cover rules. If they're getting through, he's just auto killing two stuff, and he has a um, gunslinger, so you can attack. You know, two units. He's not the worst. The problem he's is, the you're worst. right. He's got to get close. Got to get close. Get close. Still yeah. got to get close with those white saves. Um, there is there obviously is the new uh, t- uh, was it take cover right cover me K cover with the take cover, take cover. so that's helpful. Um, but yeah, no Mando shooting with just his three dice because now the it might get th- there's no cover that's just automatically going to get blocked. That hel- that helps right. That's going to help a lot of units obviously that you can roll two three dice and actually maybe do something now. But it's also not gonna feel good when they roll those white those white dice and just roll I all, know just <laughs> roll all surgeon blanks oh, and surgeon blocks and block it all. But yeah. So yeah, Grogu, I, I am at least happy that he's he's um he's won't be such a detriment for me <laughs> to play him. It wasn't on a such a basis. detriment. You won two straight games like that fast. <laughs> yeah, but um all but two, almost, but I really shouldn't have won the second game if he, if he would, if my opponent would have remembered to, that Grogu was there. Oh he, man! Yeah, if Rob, if That's Rob true. would have remembered about about Grogu, he wouldn't have to worry about R two, and he could have just won the game that way. 
All right, so let's let's get into the units they did change and get Nick's thoughts. So the first one up, we got Luke Skywalker. Nobody played. Nobody played. Uh, if if you brought Luke. Luke Skywalker, and people were like, "Oh, that's uh, Op Luke, right?" And you're like, "No, people would just not take you serious." Now they gave him a rework. The art looks amazing. We're getting a badass model, you know, coming reprint model of Luke with his with his medallion jacket and everything. Pretty sick. So here is the new Luke Skywalker, Hero of the Rebellion. He has jump one. They gave him block. They gave him charge, immune pierce, inspire two, sharpshooter one. He has Anakin's lightsaber, which is impact two, pierce one, two red, three black. Luke's blaster now has long shot. Pierce one, one red, three black. What do you think? Whoa. So you didn't you didn't say any of the things that I actually care about. <laughs> We're just going over the units with the rebel expert. It, but no, but no, no, no. Uh, does this the, make him the, enticing to bring the, red, not OP Luke? But no, that's what that's what I'm saying. You didn't say any of the changes that actually make him enticing now. The changes that actually make him enticing is he dropped by 30 points. Oh, sorry. And he has a command slot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's sorry. pretty good. It's not that's, like tabletop admiral's kind of loading low right now. That's what makes that's so yes, he does, he is enticing now, but for those reasons. Because really because really everything else, it changed a little bit, but it's not like crazy different. I mean, they changed his dice a little bit. His keywords are pretty much all mostly the same. Um, you know, he doesn't get knocked out in melee now. He gets searched to block. But they, he did lose deflect. He did lose deflect, and I feel like he's going to get shot more than punched. Um, that's actually kind of a bummer. They yeah. lost deflect. I would have charge. Just, I, I forgot. Yeah, he has charge. Still, still oh. charge in this new game without having to spend a dodge. I would have much rather have him deflect, have him his, have deflect than block. His uh, his pierce went down as well from from two to pierce one. Pierce went down. Yeah, they tweaked they tweaked everything yeah. a little bit. His dice is all a little different. They gave him the sharpshooter. They gave him the inspire, which is good. But but really, it's the points. It's the points and the command slot uh, and the training slot. That's what I like about him. And um, I'm actually looking at putting him in my list instead of Jin, even though he's a little more expensive. But because he's got those things now. That's dope. yeah. So That's what dope. um what do you plan on throwing on him command wise then command and training wise? <laughs> So again, this is a really skewed uh, opinion. Probably most other rebel players don't don't do this. In in a I, Grogu based economy, in a Grogu based meta, in a Grogu based economy, um, I need the I need the command slot because I have to take underworld connections because I'm taking two mercenaries. That's I'm taking Din. I'm taking Bad Batch. So I have to have a commander with a command slot. Wait, I don't do, you to need two copies? Uh, no, just, no, no, because it gives you the one. One, you get one naturally, and then the yep, other one. I think one extra. Second one. one extra. Gotcha, yep. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. that's probably not how most rebel players build their army, <laughs> starting that way. But that's why I, that's what I would get. That's why I need it for. <laughs> All right. So with that news being said, let's go on to uh, Leia. She's seventy-five points. There, I said the points, Nick. Um, she's now seventy-five points. She now has, uh, going over keywords, she has Take Cover 2. She now has the proud owner of Exemplar, which is an ex chef's kiss, exquisite keyword, known for years to GAR players, loved by GAR players, stolen by the Rebels now. Uh, she also comes with Inspire 2, Nimble, Sharpshooter 2. Her melee is 3 black, and her blaster is now 1 to 3 with 3 red. What That'd do you be thoughts? fair. Well, to be fair, she did steal that keyword from her daughter, and her daughter probably like you know did something wrong. So, it, <laughs> justifying yeah, it's, the terrorists. Yeah, it, yeah, it's okay. Um, Lance, um, definitely better just because she can actually put out some damage now. She can shoot range three, but before she was only range two. That big and no right? cover, she, and no cover, and three and three red dice versus the three black. This would have been wild had fire support stayed the same because then you could fire support the mark twos with zero cover mm -hmm. yep yep yeah so she's she's definitely more offensive um and she's even you know and more defensive with the exemplar but i still i'm 
this is the this is the problem I have with all white save rebel heroes. They just die. I mean, so you know, they melt. They, it, if you if now if you keep them back and have them do nothing, then they don't die. But if you put them out there, they just die. Yeah, and the way that this game's going, you can't just hang back and not do anything. You have to be contesting objectives. Yeah. You have to be up in the thick of it. Yeah. And yeah, like you said, it's it's hard. You know, being that close to the sun, you're gonna melt with some wax wing. Yeah. You know, is I mean, there is there? You remember the old meta days, Roman, where we had um, we had uh, Luke and Leia uh, running t- in tandem with the points reduction and everything changed on Luke and everything changed on Leia. Is there? Do you think we see Luke and Leia get taken together now, even if it's just thematically? I I don't think. Oh well, yeah, thematically, yeah. You'll have the guys that are like, oh, I can fit her in. Oh, like the people who bring Rogue One man cards. This is fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. This is fine. This works. I think them together might be something cooking, man. The problem uh, is yeah. with what else? Like, what do they do? Like, what's the, the what's the goal? Right? What's the end goal? What tool? An extra move for Luke for off of No Time for Sorrows. Uh, extra dodges on Luke, like. You know, they they can they what, what, what was it? It was um I'm trying to think of the name. Uh man, I'm forgetting the name of the old meta. Anyways, uh what do you think, Nick? I mean it's definitely better. Um, but and the range the range three is probably the biggest change. That's the biggest change. You could shoot at range three. That's gonna be huge to to help keep her alive if you actually need to take shots with her. Even um, a cleanup unit, you have a shot to to pick something up. Sure, sure, yeah. Um, I do just worry that uh, she's gonna have she's gonna have to stay close to her core, or because she's gonna need to take advantage of that take cover rule, because um, she's gonna need to take yeah. those two hits off the top for sure. Was there? Sorry, I'm looking to make sure there was other. Chewy wasn't touched. Sabine wasn't touched. Uh, okay, so new R two. New R2, Garbage. repair Garbage. 2, capacity oh, 2, wow. inconspicuous, Garbage. infiltrate. Garbage. Secret mission. Garbage. Oh, I've Nick, I've never heard you so negative. 55 point <laughs> R2. Infiltrate. Come on, I man. I can't put him in a transport anymore. And secret mission is going to be hard. I don't see how you It's going to be really hard to do secret mission. Yeah. Really hard. There is cuz again, there the game before was so centralized on certain points. So you could pretty much know in le- where your opponent wasn't going to be to get R2 secret mission, unless they were going to, sp- you know, specifically put something out there to go get them. I don't see in these missions where R2 could go and not, and not, and not get attacked, not just die. And, and he can't fly there anymore. He He can't, Riding in a land speeder. He's going to have to speed one across the table. You bring his command it's, card, it's, which is speed two and jump. Acrobatic oh R2. I can't, I can't waste a command card on. I can't waste a command card on that. <laughs> that's, that's you terrible. don't think even like in the bus? You don't think like even in the bus with that extra like basically it's, the it's mega a far can't... move. But yeah, it's a far move to the middle of the table for him to get shot. We just got to get the other deployment zone like. But have you looked at the deployments? I'm looking at them. They're they're just they're just they're <laughs> yeah. Just the they're way. tiny. And, and and again, because and again, less. I mean, unless your opponent just gives you these uh, these point uh, these, these POIs, <clears throat> it's not they're not going to be balled up, right? And usually, you can say, "Oh, my opponent's going to be balled up here." Well, if they do that, you're going to win the game anyways because they're not going to be able to get to the objective. So they're going to be spread out just like you. You everyone's got to get to these these point of interest, right? So that's one thing. I don't think that you're going to have the lanes for our two to go down anymore to do secret and, mission and that's and a good survive. point too. And, that, and that's a good point too, is because secret mission still just gives you one victory point, right? Mm-hmm. So you're going to yeah, give up uh, if you're going to give up a vic- potential victory points around two, three, four, five to hopefully get one with R two. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that with the new the new way the the progressive victory points work, as uh, AMG says. Yeah, and it's and it's harder to to do now as well because you have to you have to do it at the beginning of the turn. Yeah, it's not an efficient victory point. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> two things. Well, because I'm going in order of the the core, all that stuff. So I'm a terrible host. Um. So it's okay. I think they didn't better change, than Jr. So far. <laughs> they didn't change her, but 
Nick, do you feel it's unfair that they announce Clone Wars Ahsoka and then go and make Rebel Ahsoka's cards Rebel only? Meaning she probably won't get the six card treatment like Luke. Is that fair or unfair? No, so wait, I, they made the um, new Wait, did they show off the Republic? No, no but, they're, but they're, the assumption is uh, Gar Ahsoka cards are going to have Gar only because mm-hmm. Rebel Ahsoka I, cards not say Rebel only. I don't Which, think so. Reason yeah. being is the Rebel Ahsoka is the more experienced one. So she's mm-hmm. done everything that the young one's done well, you're getting and the Rebel two, era stuff. You're getting two different oh. versions though. Padawan Ahsoka and regular. So you're, there's stuff that grown up Ahsoka can do that. Young one can't. But but not vice versa. But what if Young One has a has a speed three car? I mean, realistically, I mean, just it's more of a Any... more tools in the in the in the chest. I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking... old Luke, farmer boy Luke has access to. Uh, I'm a Jedi. He that, no, he was way more advanced when he did that. But so by that logic, old farmer Luke should not be able to have that. He shouldn't be able to. Jedi I mean, no, but trick they, people. But they didn't make the rules at the time. About that. <laughs> like they didn't have they didn't have different uh eras. Gotcha. But I mean look, AMG did boba, they did Daimyo Boba and yeah. that crisscrosses, applesauces. I'm I'm kind I'm kind of on the same page as you, Roman. I think it's it's still possible that the rebel Soka may be able to use the Gar cards because yeah, she's the but not vice versa. Old. Gotcha. Not vice versa. But I but uh, but same at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if they go that route and they do put the Gar only. Right. That, wouldn't, that like wouldn't shock me. So it's very possible. I may you may only have the three cards. Um, I think they'll let you use which it. Is, I mean, just I think the reason they'll let you use the Republic one is Nick. You're telling me you're not going to buy a whole another Ahsoka model to get the extra command cards that'll make your Rebel Ahsoka better. It, it will sell more models for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right. So now onto the 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 final thing in this this section for. Uh, for the high-end rebel stuff nick force push up to 40 and deflect only has a top end of one wound despite how many surges you roll what are your thoughts on those two changes because that affects your boy luke and ahsoka yeah i so i really like the deflect change uh, if you don't spend the dodge i think that gives your jedi a little more a little more oomph i don't mind changing it to the one wound you really i mean re, you really only got one at most most of the time anyways right and yeah defensive surge is pretty much like a crit yeah 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 so having to just do one that's not too bad i would much much rather take that and always have it on without having to spend a dodge for sure um force push oh here we go here we go i i don't know why they made it 40 if they just lowered a bunch of the jedi i i don't i don't get it if they yeah, I think they realistically made it twenty points, right? They just doubled the cost overall. Yeah, still but expensive. What are yeah, the, I, yeah. so? I guess I guess my question to them is, what are they trying to do with force push? Are they trying to take it out of the game, or are they or are they not? I, I just I don't know because because raising it twenty points and giving us two hundred points to make our army really didn't change anything either. So really, they didn't change. They lowered right. the force users and they raised based our total army points so they re- in my opinion they really didn't change force push so they, what they i really think didn't. they're trying to do um, and they kind of said it a bit too is they want to en- entice you to take more force users and just save the points on the force push and maybe use it for some more killy stuff right or just different things they're like hey it's still there technically it's only 20 points more than it used to be overall but if you decide not to take it you have these options now or you have a little bit more points freed up if you so choose to do it. it's almost like a rebate there's psychos out there jr probably one of them I, that are trying to justify not taking force push i i i i think if they if that's what they were trying to do then they shouldn't have lowered all the jedi they should have stayed the same amount of points because about... they lowered they lowered they lowered a lot of the jedi what 20 points a lot of them 30 on points, a lot of them 30 on all of them right so you lowered them 20 or 30 points so in some of those cases, you didn't even raise force push zero or 10 points. You raised, you raised force push 10 points maybe then, right? Because it was already 10. So you raised it 10 points, yeah. and you gave us another 200 to make our army. You didn't 
you you didn't take force push you didn't do anything to it so i don't know what they were i don't think they accomplished what they're trying to do if that's what they're trying to do they should have left the force users at the points they were at and raced to 40 speaking for uh overpowered force users you know they did do one thing right nick and i know this hits you very close to home and i know that uh we we've, we've had a, a a furious game of a of a yoda fighting anakin and yoda lugging around a giant barrier just moving it with him and American. making it impossible for me to get any type of situation set up because i had to go through heavy cover that was moving along with yoda they kill force barrier force lift they killed force, force lift. lift there you go i think i was the only one that ever played that card at least it was in our, in our, in our yeah. circles. <laughs> I used it with Luke too. I don't think I ever played with it, but I used it with Luke sometimes too. With OP Luke, he he would lug around his his are you gonna, his, are you gonna his frame barricade in memoriam and put it somewhere. Yeah, I <laughs> I could only assume that they took that out because they worried that people were gonna put barricades around the objectives. <laughs> I guess I don't know. I I yeah, that's the only it's thing weird, I think yeah. of, right? Well, especially because I think they just they changed it where barricades that. you could just move over, right? You can just move through barricades now, right? Game game rule wise. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's no, not difficult. Yeah, they're not difficult anymore. They still provide the heavy cover if you're behind them and 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 within a half range, right? Um. So yeah, I was kind of sad because I did I did enjoy bringing force lift. I did I did use that power. Nick, um, the, on the only or, player, or, yeah, so the only player bringing force force uh, lift and Grogu in the it, madness. All right, so moving on. <laughs> Uh, Rebel Troopers uh, got a steroid shot somewhat. Uh, Rebel Troopers now have Agile 1 and Nimble. Still Speed 2, and you get to, with the new rules, if you choose to, you can now put a uh, another Rebel Trooper inside of another Rebel Trooper, as messed up as that sounds. <laughs> yeah, uh, so again, obviously, I can't say they're not better. They have Agile. They're better. I just don't think they're still that. I mean, I think if you want them to do anything, you're gonna have to pay for the double, the double unit, right? You're, to actually have them really do some. They need work. to stay on the field, uh, yeah. And, and like you said, yeah. dodges aren't enough. Yeah, they gotta stay on the field. Um, you're gonna really, you're gonna live by that cover save roll <laughs> you're gonna roll those you're, they're gonna get hit with with eight <laughs> eight dice you're gonna roll eight white dice you're gonna or be none. praying for a lot of pain <laughs> yeah uh so yeah, it's they're definitely it's gonna be feast yeah. or famine with that so yeah. we're talking about a bloodier game we don't know how the rebels are gonna stay alive can i entice you in 40 point charging fleet troopers that is actually a little enticing i've thought about doing the fleets <laughs> um you know because they do have the charge i like they have the the, the melee now the melee two range attack um and you can and add a squad double your fleets yeah i guess squad they didn't go in a That's point crazy dude oh my god <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, here's 30 dice but i feel i feel so like scary, they, I, actually i feel like they, yeah i feel like they still are still though are just a one-shot wonder so Fleets before, yes, you get yeah, them in they there. Out, they shoot. They come out. They shoot. They do, you know, some damage, but then they get shot and they just get died because they don't have nimble. They don't have have any dodge tech. They don't have any defensive tech. And even if you double up on these guys, because because the dice pools coming back at you are bigger as well, they're gonna just they're gonna die still just yeah. as fast. The, but the as, saving grace is the I charge, do worry though, right? Like you charge in the yes. melee. Let off all your guns, and if you're lucky enough, because you know you whip ninety percent of the roll, you're still in melee with something. I mean, you can use like old yeah. Jedi tactics where this unit's already gone. Charge, charge, shotgun blast melee. You're safe. And, and, yeah, and, that and is this, pretty good. It's it's still yeah. gonna be a lot of setting up. Yeah, but the other the other problem is I think I think we got a lot of got to remember is they took away our transports. I can't run my fleets up in a bus and drop yeah. them out next anymore. They actually have to run across the field now. And even with charge, there's unless you have like the perfect table, they are going to get shot before they get there. They're going to they're going to well, take a true. shot, maybe that's more true. more than one shot. Rebels don't have great order control. It, it, normally, I'm not giving my order tokens to my fleet <laughs> troopers. So, so 
even if I get them on the board, you know, that turn one safely, they most likely don't have an order turn two. So they're going to get shot before they go. And will they even get to where they need? So I just, it, it, think about it this way. It was, it was dangerous to run your, your six health red save Jedi across the table, gain shot. I'm not supposed to run these white save fleet troopers across the table, gain shot. I, you know, so I, I do like them. I do but like you'll the have change. nine of it them is... this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if but if five die off the first shot and then three Dude, die off the second shot. I've never now, seen now, so negative. No, hold on. Now, now uh realistically, you know, trying to be trying to yeah, um think about it. Do you think fleet troopers would be a good unit to double the size and have them just hold an objective in the back then? That way if people do come close to try to get it, you can shotgun them. Get off my lawn. That's a good use for them. No, I I think you want to take advantage of that charge, right? Mm -hmm. You want to take advantage. Of, so that's and that's obviously where it's going to be a little bit objective dependent and the table dependent, right? Because if you if you have the objectives uh, where they're a little, because there's uh, there's the one where they're all a little bit closer to outside the deployment zones, right? So you could maybe the ones in the center, you can maybe get there a little better if they pull a unit up. Maybe you could get there and charge them. I think you want to use that charge. Um, well, what I'm saying though, because, so. So, so far, I think it's for the to contest for the objectives, you're at either half range or range one, right? So far for most of them. Now, if another unit's trying to contest half, you and half you're range contesting, for all of them, for all of them, okay. So, I think they're definitely great it's for holding the back then. Is, is it all of them okay? I just wasn't sure. Um, if they're at half range and you're at half range, you can charge in off of one move. Mm -hmm. Right, because it's pretty much six. Yeah. Plus the buffer, the two inches. But so yeah, you, 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 you have to use the second it. one. You can make it there. Yeah. If you have yeah. your two actions, you can move Just move up. Aim. And you can scoot, <laughs> scoot. Yeah. Or, well, or, exactly. or Yeah. yeah. Th there's. I, I think there's something to be said that I can at least hold. I feel like you're going to use. Yeah. I feel like you're going to use your bigger squads though to go get. The more contested objectives. I don't. I don't think you're going to need your big squad to stay on the back point. You're going to need your big squads to get up to those other objectives to take from the, your opponent. Yeah, that way they can survive getting up in their face. Yeah, man. I don't know. I, I need to play. That's the big thing. Is it's a it's a, a Zoom meeting with three people that haven't played the game yet. <laughs> We're very. Oh, that, that's 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 the perfect that's the perfect way to talk perfect way to talk about the game. That's how you get the best right? the best analysis. So, Nick. Super negative. I'm just gonna so, roll all results. I I just want to, <laughs> for the record, for the for the for the friends and fans that are watching, me and Roman seem to be more positive about the rebels than than Nick here. It's it's utterly madness. So one thing Nick likes to do is he likes to run rebel vets with a pesky Mark II. Now rebel vets, they now have a prepared position, and their uh, Mark IIs. Now, uh, fire support, they just get a dodge for just, you know, having fire support if they have an order. Um, but they just no longer... Stand by. Stand by. Stand, uh, stand by. by. There you go. They no longer have to detach or be deployed from your rebel veteran. So does any of that make you a little happy? Because prepare positions, I believe you start on the mat, right? I... Like old school deployment. Prepare, yeah. Prepare positions. You start. That's the first thing you do in the deployment phase. But pre-game, you put your all your prepared position gotcha. units on the map. Start with blue pair, right? So they're out there. Then you go to turn one and do the rest. So what do which, you think? which I think is it's good and bad because your opponent now knows exactly where they are, right? I mean, so it's 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 good and bad. They they they're gonna save some movement, um, which is gonna be nice because you. You want them to be in range. I don't feel like they. I don't feel like they did anything to the vets or the Mark II that really changed too much how they played. I mean, they, I feel like they're they're going to play pretty much the same. The Sentinels. I, that's how, that's how I kind of feel. I don't feel like right if they have the order, their Sentinels always on because they have the standby. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. Echo based um, defender gets a boom. Yeah, I, it's I hard. Play, it's like it's a double. Yeah. <laughs> it's a double edged yeah. sword when it comes to the uh, the Mark Twos and the Vets, um, with the new uh, prepared positions. Because, like you said, one, they get that like free movement pretty much up. 
Um, they can, yeah, kind of control a little bit of lanes, right? Either uh, uh, influence where they get deployed, where units move and shoot. The problem is now they're out of the open until they activate. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. it's with no more heavy cover, right? My Mark IIs are probably going to die faster. The, 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 the Did Mark they bump their health up at all? No, they didn't even they they didn't even change their card. If I could be wrong, but Mark II's don't even have a new card. Yeah, no, this these are just changes that they've got that I'm going over of units yeah. that have changes. So they yeah. didn't get a new card, but they got prepared positions. They didn't get a new card, but they can deploy whenever they want now. So yeah, yeah. The, new newish. The yeah, the vet the veterans the veterans got a new card. The veterans have a new card. So the veterans got a new card. They got low profile. They got prepared positions, and because they have prepared positions, the Mark IIs have it. Um, but they didn't actually change the Mark II. Um, yeah, I just I how just much like... did the Mark II have? Was it four? four? Four. Yeah. Ooh, just to be standing out there, a white defense dice, right? You white defense surging. So before when you shot, yeah, surging white. So before when you shot them, I would always take two off the top because you're putting them in heavy cover, right? I would put them behind a barricade or right, whatever else, right? Now you shoot me. I'm gonna roll two white dice to see if maybe two come off the top, and most of the time probably not. Right, so then I I'm gonna have to roll two saves. So, system. so they, I feel like they are, they are still good. I just feel like they are, they're gonna die faster. They're gonna die faster, unless you just spike yeah. on your white dice. They're it's gonna, gonna die be faster. Feast or famine, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Changes to infiltrate. This affects uh, Roman two with ISF and Iden. What do you guys think? Invader. With infiltrate invader. What do you guys I, think? I like I like new infiltrate, like infiltrate a lot. Oh, you good, like it? I like it. I like it. I like it better than the old one. Oh, I'm good. You like it because I hate it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of really? it. Really? <laughs> I think it's amazing. I, I get. So it serves a totally different purpose now in this game. So I guess I understand yes. why it's different. But I loved how I could put my people anywhere, right out there uh, on the board. That was always fun. Um, it's now. I'll say this. I think it's still good. I think it's good. It's good in this game for sure. Yeah. You still are gonna play Pathfinders then? Well, they stink anyways. <laughs> you was gonna say they <laughs> suck. You're in the hard. They stink. <laughs> so they the reason anyway. I like I'm... it is the main infiltrate unit I would play would be Vader, and he had to go after yeah. everyone else, and he could just get boxed out. So then now I've just wasted a command card to get a scout one move. Yeah, it wasn't. Great, I, I guess you know. Um, I can see that. What, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Because the new rules, yeah, with infiltrate, you skip the moving off the edge. Well, and not just that is you aren't because of the new deployment rules, you can't get shot at until you activate mm -hmm. and you can activate pretty much start off at the edge of your, your, you know, your deployment zone mm -hmm. or whatever friendly area. Um, I like it. Um, yeah. For rebels. I don't know. I, I it's rough because well, the I, units I, that were infiltrating already, they yeah. weren't. Great. <laughs> I I see it. I see it for from your perspective totally because Vader didn't even have really true infiltrate because he had to go down last. Like that's not my rebel infiltrators are going down first, right? So that was a totally different scenario. Game. Um, th this this will be <laughs> better probably in the long run because you'll be able to hold them back. I'll be I won't be able to put Jin anywhere now, but I'll be able to maybe put her last on the table. Yeah. Right. If she has an order. So I know where you're at. I know where I could put her, where she's safe. She's she's on the edge of the deployment zone. She could move somewhere. So that probably will keep keep her safer in the long run. And I feel like you can adjust to what's going on in the battlefield a little bit more too with the, you know, like you said, Jen goes at the end. And maybe I was to plan on deploying her over here. Well, that's going to hell. Or, hey, these guys got it locked down. Let me bring a guy over here. You know, let me, let me help out these units over here. I, I feel like for the way the game is right now, I think it's a, move in the right direction with infiltrate again with the old rules they served their purpose too they had stuff it's just again if they didn't do that initial nerf to infiltrate and scout where you couldn't touch objectives at the beginning i'd be like they killed it it's a dead it's a dead keyword now um but they were already kind of handicapped beforehand like they just weren't being appreciated in this new format i feel like it's just a better option with the way it is now yeah okay. now it's just especially because imagine if they yeah, imagine if they kept the old infiltrate rules where you get boxed out range three. So when you go to deploy, you hope you deploy them. Now you're like, well, I hope there's nobody within three of all this now as the game's been progressing versus mm -hmm. deploying. I don't know. Uh, it's, yeah. 
yeah, more of my problem now is all my infiltrate units are not good. So that's more than my problem, if anything. Else. We have to <laughs> we have to get Nick to be happy about something. Okay. We went over this unit a while ago. Rules changes. I think this unit just got way, way bonkers now. Your rebel sleeper cell scout is a hot commodity now because when you deploy now, as everybody knows, your first action is step onto the field. Your second action is whatever you want. With scout now, the scouting on still fr now frees up your two actions and you still get yeah. your speed. So your rebel sleeper cell, Nick, has scout two and now tactical triggers on moves, period. So your rebel cell starts off further, still gets their two actions, and now has a free aim. You happy about that? Oh no! No, no, I, um, no. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm pumped, so, and I, no. I, I've been, I haven't even seen this unit on the table. I'm pumped to get these guys. So this is where this is where it's kind of a little bit of a of a du double edged sword. Oh, um, so before the changes. I was hoping the sleeper cell would do something kind of like unique, new to the game, right? Some yeah, new no kind of espionage thing, token or something. So I'm disappointed that that didn't happen. But now, but the the game totally changed. I get that now. Um, but I will say they did give me a good unit. I do like the sleeper cells. I think they are good. I think they are a viable unit to play. They're not too expensive. I feel like they can. They'll get some tokens. They'll be able to do some things. Um, so no, I like them. I'm 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 looking forward to playing some sleeper cell. I I am I am. The the Nick's gonna be like the problem is I don't have this unit. Yet. <laughs> That's because <laughs> I got half a game. <laughs> it, it, that is true. We haven't it's hit not, the stretch goals yet. <laughs> it, it's not. It's, yeah, we haven't hit the stretch goals yet. They haven't released it. Uh, so that is yeah. I that is one thing. I don't have that unit yet. Um, you know, I'm more disappointed that they gave me a unit that I didn't even get to play with in the old rules. Bad batch. Well, at least is the day yeah. after all this. I mean, with the, <laughs> with the new rules and the new changes and scout being so prevalent, armor took a hit across the board. Nick, can you see yourself playing the new and improved ATRT with armor two? Climbing vehicle, expert climber, scout so one. So good. But you still have your white defense dice. That is so, Ooh, so good. Oh, that is no. so garbage. <laughs> and, I'm saying it's as good as going against them. And, you know, that's what I like to see on the board. And I've played three ATRTs. Back multiple in my times. day. <laughs> I've played three ATRTs. I even have a, a ATRT that I customize Cassian driving it. On there. oh, that's so cool! My that's extra casting model. Um, it's dusty, isn't they took, it? They all, they are. Uh, that's uh, why they took. Why did they get? Why did they not give them <laughs> breaking? <laughs> they gave the clone one the red say. Why did I? That's why did the crazy. Not yeah, I know, dude. Save? I agree on that. If if one's gonna suck, the other one has to. But suck. they gave you scout. <laughs> I don't think this one always had scout. Who cares? <laughs> So Only because that's what made the clone one special. It had scout. So I could go so again, closer. Move up so to get shot faster. Shoot me. But you get to scout up and throw surge to crits. Ah, uh, not when I'm the dead. Pro the problem not when is, is, is uh, when it's dead or there might not be anything out when it activates. Yeah. True. Or yeah. in range. Exactly. Like, it's just, yeah, dude. I, I, yeah. I, I don't like this whole separate but equal BS they've been doing with Republic and Rebel. <laughs> separate but equal isn't a thing <laughs> yeah I, bad batch it, is that's actually baffling why for clones but it's a mercenary for rebels yeah <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> dude that's crazy <laughs> all right quick shot separate but equal your fd cannon nothing really changed but you have prepared position upside or downside that actually helps that a well I guess it could depend, but I feel like it does help. It it's gonna be you could be farther up if you need it to be. Um, the deployment zones are wider because you're playing on mostly battle lines, right? For and you know where the objectives are, right? So you you yeah, so you can you set know, up lanes. You know where the objectives are. They're not moving. It's not like boxes or hostage or payload, right? I think there's so one that moves. There is one yeah. that moves. There's one there's that's one... like recover, right? Or one that's like a bomb no, or something. It, it's well, those are secondaries. It's, it's kind of like Dianoga. 
Yeah. I haven't the, played the, Dianoga. The, the primaries, the primaries don't move with the exception of one mission. It moves half range around the board. Um, it's just like, yeah. So I, the, I think the FDs were good before. I think they're good now. I think um, because you know where your targets are, that maybe makes them a little better. Um, yeah. yeah. But you're the running into the same issue should with the make marks. them better too, right? They're not they don't get covered though, do they? The no, no, I'm saying the, the oh, uh, when against, they're shooting yeah, at against, stuff, yeah, 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 there's yeah, no sure, sure yeah, cover. Yeah, yeah. So they're, now they're, it's like, here's my here's my uh, five black dice. Oh, you whiffed your yeah, defensive roll, you now you got to roll. Right? It's like, I think that's dope. <laughs> yeah, no, it I is, agree. It is good. I agree. They're the five dice. The problem is they got to go before the game starts. So now it's a target for everyone to shoot. They'll get one really bomb shot. Or they could dodge around And then, yeah. Well, right. you're you're, you're going to want to keep them at their range five, right? So they can get shot at very low. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So we've covered uh, commander, operative core, special forces, and support. And Nick has been only temporarily excited about one. So how about your new airspeeder? You lose all full armor for armor three. <laughs> so there's only, there's kind of only one. I feel like only one saving grace for the airspeeder. You're going to have to take the cover one pilot so that you can give him cover two and pray for those white dice. That that's that's what I feel like you're going to have to do because if you can if you can get those white dice to take some of that off the top and get it down to three, right? Or get it closer so you're not rolling that many saves. That's the only way it's going to survive. I feel like you're, you're, now, you're now stuck that you have to take the cover one pilot to give him cover two. Uh, at that point, it's like, why make yourself such a target then? Because you still got to maneuver a little funky. I don't know, man. I don't have good heavies, though. Like I, the speeder, I always thought was a decent heavy as long as you can go yeah. somewhat last and then go first. Yeah, dude. Well, you can you can That's still rough. you you you're he can still do his damage. I think I think just having the cover two is just going to help you survive, you know, because you don't have the full armor anymore. Um, so you're you're just living on that white dice. I feel like other, I mean, and maybe and maybe with that you can make it somewhat feel like he still has full armor. We we covered this a little bit already, but we're moving on to your X thirty four land coffin. Or paperweight, your choice. Uh, armor two, <laughs> arsenal three, cover one, speeder one. Armor two. Your trusty pistol is the weapon you have, but you know it's more of a dedicated unit than just a Luke taxi. Yeah, he and he only had armor two before. That's not new. So that oh, was I just read what he had part. before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I'm about to say he had armor two. It. Yeah, he had armor two uh, before and after. Um, really, the only change on the land speeder is is the transport they, they took away they took away the transport that's really the only change and he's still uh he's still cheap i mean i don't think they i say they even lowered his points he's five points cheaper um so to put him as just a gun turret now that can score objectives that can contest and secure i actually do like the land speeder gun droid might be good with them still Yep, we could uh, oh, raise it twenty points though. Twenty points for my gong. But vehicles that, no longer get whoa. covered. Vehicles don't get cover anymore. Well, no, but the land speeder will. So vehicles can't get cover from terrain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they still got cover one. You can cover still get cover. You cover can still get cover from your cover from your car. So land speeder has native cover one. I'm going to give it the cover two pilot. I'm going to give it the cover one pilot. Give it cover two. I'm going to give my rebel troopers the cover two pilot. So, <laughs> <laughs> so. so just uh, in spite of the fact that I'm very sad that I can't put OP Luke in my land spirit anymore and drive it into your line and drop Luke off, which I love doing. Um, that was always so much fun to do. Um, I do. I I will still use the land spear. I'll use the land spear. It's, I think that'll still be a fun unit to play with. Last but not least, the AA5 speeder truck from full armor to armor five. <laughs> Why couldn't they let me play at least one game with the Bad Batch and let me drive them around in this thing? I didn't even get to do it <laughs> one single time. Not once. I didn't get to do it. I knew I was going to get to do it for months. I was like waiting to put the Bad Batch in the truck and drive it up. And now I can't do it. 
I feel bad for everybody that was so, proxying. Like, I, I need know. to learn this unit, this and that. And then the rules changed the day. That was released. Grayson's high point. Remember? Wait till I put the bad yeah. batch in the bus and ran it over there. Like, yeah, good luck with that. It battle. was going to be fun. It was going to be so much fun. Um, <laughs> we're we're going to have to play a game with Nick with old transport rules just so we could live out his <laughs> fantasy for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I, and so I know I have to get over that. So if I can get over that, I mean, it's still fine. It's still good. The AA How do you run still... it? Medical only, or or straight up weapons no, platform? No medic. I I run it medic with medic. Only? I run it with you know defensive, so I can I could so I could still even though now I can't even put the bad batch in. I, so I can't even deploy the bad batch off of the bus because they're not a core, right? They're operatives. I can't even do that. Yeah, I think so, it's core and special forces, right? Yeah. So. Bad Bats got to start on the Ooh, edge of the board rough, and run up. I'm still planning on, at least for now, so I can sort of live out my dream. <laughs> I'm going to use the truck with the medic with the Bad Batch. It did drop 10 points. I was Are you going to put the, uh, the speeder jockey for cover two or cover one? What was it? Cover one because with the Gondroid? Because it's armor five, um, I'll probably put Shriv. All right, so let's go with Shriv. Hand out the dodge. And so you take in a uh the quad laser, nothing of any type, nothing. nothing. Nope. And because then, wow. And then, you're gonna, I'm gonna be using one of my actions to move and one of my actions to heal. I'm gonna have no actions to shoot. So you oh, taking yeah, 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 are you yeah, taking yeah. any uh comms comms up blinks? Nothing. So Nick's Nick's terrible, terrible Fresno fax bus <laughs> uh comes out with his refurbished <laughs> gonk, back row medic, and shriv comes out to a whopping a hundred and seven. <laughs> How far out can um can the medic heal? The back did, row medic it, is. It was range one, unless they changed it. I'm checking right now. Oh, uh, view back row medic. Remove one wound or poison token, or restore one mini to a friendly non droid trooper unit at one, range one. and in line yeah. of sight. So here's the thing: is if you're not taking guns. What if you get blocked out? Because range one's not that difficult to block out now. Like, and you can't displace. Yeah, you can't body slam people from the top I, rope. I don't. I don't think that'll be too. Because I'm not. I'm not trying to get. If I, I don't necessarily need to get the bus out in front. I just need them to be in the back. I think it'd be in the back of the bad mm. batch, right? Because the bus, the bus could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know you want maybe try to use the line side blocker, but hopefully with terrain, you won't need to do that. You could use but the bus to maybe. You hold. also get the um. Yeah, maybe hold the back objective. You also hold get that point. free mm -hmm. pivot, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's right. It's that's a free right, pivot yeah. as well. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. New, he went from from delivering the bad batch to just keeping the bad batch alive while they slowly walk up. Well, because if they lose minis, they lose rules. <laughs> yeah, they lose, they lose keywords. Yeah. It's like your car losing, you know, the car gets hit a few times. It's fine. Car loses a wheel. You have issues. <laughs> no, you can still drive it technically. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But you have issues. You have issues. There's problems are happening. <laughs> Nick's over here on his van. One wheel's missing. It's sparking. It's like it's still going. It's still going. That's how <laughs> I only Nick need one wheel to turn. So sparking on one wheel. So we've gone over those Man. changes. Nick, Roman, overall thoughts. Ro Roman's played against Rebels a lot of times because he's Empire main, hates Rebels, filthy Rebels. Uh, Nick Rebel scum. maims Rebels. So we're going to have two two opposing opinions, hopefully. Thoughts on how the Rebel faction is after these changes? And does the core way they function or play change now that the game has changed so much? Who's going first? I'll go first since I actually don't play him. So I've seen it from the other side. I think from what Nick said in the beginning, I think he's right. They didn't change enough to make them keep up in the in the new rules i i think in them not being changed enough they're kind of being left behind a little bit more right already they were we had, we had this exact same conversation at the beginning of the episode where it's like they're doing they have to play everything so perfect just to hang in there but as long as they can do that and with a little bit of luck they can win games now everything's got to go perfect and they've got to somehow find a way to make like force that luck Pretty much, but like you said, and literally forcing luck. Like he's like, I gotta take cover. Something that gives me cover too, just to get armor. I gotta, I gotta find a way. Like it's just you're doing so much stuff just to compensate for not 
being able to keep up with the new rules. So uh, as a rebel player, that is a little bit unfortunate. There's some units that got buffed. Some of them doesn't really matter. Um, I Again, this is from someone who hasn't played the game. Maybe I'm just full of crap. And when we go play, Nick's just everything's perfect for him. He's like, oh, I didn't know this would work this way with the new objectives. And dang, this is a lot easier. And then I'm getting stomped. I don't know. We'll see. But again, uh, going against him, I don't see a lot of difficulty in what I like to do against rebels right now. Um, again, maybe if some weirdo wanted to run fleet troopers, I might have issues on that. But I think <laughs> my Vader do backs are going to be doing a pretty decent job. I'm even considering bringing back a uh, ISF cuz I like the new infiltrate rules, dude. I think I'd an ISF uh, you know, uh alpha strike is on a major buff again. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to compartmentalize his thoughts. He's about to say a yeah. bunch of bad stuff. We're about to hear him cuss right now. Watch. No, no, never, never. No, no, we're not bringing up uh, me in so there's no cursing that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, um, I'm, I'm, I am excited to play them. I will say that just because it's different, it's something new. Um, but yeah, I don't think they will fare any better in this legion than they did before. Um, and again, and I say that, and I, I always kind of preference, I don't say that saying that rebels are so bad they can't win games. Obviously, you can you can still win games with them. And that, that's always when I say that. That's not what I mean. But if you just, if you took just player against player on e equal scale, I don't think the rebels win those matchups against the other armies. Um, and because they didn't touch most of the heroes that they're supposed to rely on um i and i don't i i do believe that by not touching those heroes they are not better in this version because that means they haven't been looked at to play in this version so am i only supposed to play with the three heroes they did do something to and not play with any of the other ones so that's that's probably my biggest thing I, they i it's it's incomplete it's an incomplete score this is incomplete that's pro that's so how do I feel rebels? They feel incomplete. Does what does uh what does your list composition look? Are you gonna be changing your because you know Nick's Nick's list composition with rebels is is pretty much tried and true, Grogu, Din, some vets, some fleets, or vets, some uh Mark twos, you know, you don't really rely on snipers. With the new rules changed, new points added, like does Nick's list composition change or do you stick to the same composition and just abuse the hell out of the extra 200 points? So it's kind of funny. I built my first list and, what even, is two, it? and with, what is it? with even 200 extra points, I only got to 10x. What do you got? Read it. <laughs> what? What do you got? Read it. Let's no, go. I'm not going not gonna to reveal my list. Come but, on. <laughs> but I will. So and then and this and. So I don't think my list um, is going to change too much based off of these rules yet because I haven't gotten to use something. So I said, and I said this, Bad Batch, I haven't gotten to play Bad Batch yet. So it's kind of like, even though the rules change, like that was my plan. I was Bad planning Batch on was playing Bad Batch points. for the... Yeah, <laughs> that's where, that's I was planning on playing Bad Batch for the next... For the for the next conceivable, you know, six months or a year, like that was my plan. So maybe that changes now with this new game, and maybe that's not what I do. Uh, maybe I actually do play IG Eleven. He actually might be good in this this version of Legion. Um, so yeah, you I. So that's kind of tough because I kind of already had my mind made up on what I wanted to play. So I'm just kind of sticking to that for now, and that may be a mistake. Maybe that's not going to work at all in this new Legion. Um, so we'll see. But Din, Grogu, Bad Batch, start with that. That's what I'm playing. There you go. I'm looking forward to that. I, was, I that's one of the questions I had because, like I said, your your lists are very typical. Like, if you were to bring me two lists, one is structured the way I know Nick plays, and one is structured whatever. And I look at him like pick Nick's pick Nick's list. Like you could pick a Nick list out easily. So I was just wondering how you were going to go about that. Um, so, uh, before we get to rules questions, um, 
what are your over encompassing thoughts on the changes to the game like period is it is you we went over a little bit you know they heard you too much went past the third knuckle um are you do you think you're going to be more uh excited to get into this or do you think it's going to be a flash in the pan where you're going to hit a wall because whatever rebels are terrible or you find out it's just not for you like does this change um like thinking about lvo like are you going to play more towards you know playing legion at lvo or do you think you're going to play so much of this and hate it and play mcp at lvo like thoughts on this 2.0 um i th- i think i'm gonna i'm gonna love it okay it's all, all in a positive i think i'm gonna love it because it did get rid of a lot of the things i didn't like about where legion was in the old game um so i could pretty safely say that yep i'm playing legion lvo gonna play legion uh um i am looking forward to to playing these rules Watching it go 3 0 at LVO and be completely miserable. And super upset the first <laughs> Super like, pissed. <laughs> we're, we're trying to have a nice dinner, and Nick's just right there being a sour post. Like, I can't believe I won three games. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into some rules questions. So, rules forum has been blowing up. You know, normally, like I said, it's been the whole um, prior to the rules to the 2.0. Uh, it's been a lot of seems like beginners getting in, so it's kind of hard to find some rules questions that you know maybe we weren't seeing or things we haven't heard. Now with this new version, everybody has a question about everything, <laughs> so I pulled some. Uh, so we're gonna go over them and see what you guys think. So this one is by Southern Dune Dane, within at range clarification for cohesion. So gentleman here says new rule book states. An object is at range of another object if any portion of it is inside that range as measured by the range tool. If, when cohering, the half range stick is placed touching a squad leader, is it legal to place another mini touching the opposite end of the range stick or must a portion of the base be inside? So what he's saying is, can my leader, my unit be touching and be within, or does his base have to be actually shorter than the full range to be considered within? With Within or I incohesion? Think, That's two different things. We just, um, just inc- so, incohesion, right? Incohesion. Yeah, so he says, when cohering, the half-range stick is placed touching the squad leader. Is it legal to place another mini touching the opposite end of the range stick, or must a portion of the base be inside? Because he's asking about within and at range, so yeah. He's just, asking if you qualify touching. for just touching. Is just, he wants stuff touching so I, within or? In. I think with the new with the new rules because of the the half range stick is actually got to be somewhat in now. I yeah. think is what I had read. It's no longer. So the way it is is at is still at when it comes to checking distance, right? If your base to base tool touches both bases in between, you're still at. But for the sake of cohesion, they have to be within that, like within um three at one so way or another, like cro- crossing over a little bit, like so before before yeah, we were able to, even if it's just a little bit, yeah. So before we were able to just touch the speed one tool, right? You said to touch yeah. it, right? Well, lock. I think lock the in. reason they did that is mm-hmm. before you had the divot. Mm-hmm. So you guys so are I saying think that's the reason. So you guys, you guys are saying that you would have to be inside of the tool, not exactly touching the tool to be counting as within. Yeah, just I think slightly is what I had read. Because read again what counts as cohesion. So so um, the actual rule for what counts as cohesion. So um, the rule book states, an object is at range of another object if any portion of it is inside that range as measured by the range tool. The question is, when cohering, a half range stick is placed touching the squad leader. So you're touching the leader. Is it legal to place another mini touching the opposite end of the range stick or must a portion of the base be What I'm saying is read the rule for cohesion. What does the rule for cohesion say as written right now? Oh, that's what he... Yeah, that's... Oh, for cohesion, let's pull it up. And if you can get to it faster, Nick. Um, But no, go go with the answer. I I think think we're on the right... I think it is... Yeah. Okay, so what, a little a little bit inside, a millimeter inside see, of it. Terrible host. I was not prepared to have the rules actually pulled up. Jared would have had it pulled up. 
Rob would have known it by heart already. So terrible host. Um, so Seth writes, a miniature touching the range tool is indeed at that range. Oh, okay. It doesn't have to be at it. it just has to touch. Yep. So that, Interesting. That's, sim that's similar to before then. Just had to touch before. Now you just have to touch that tool. Okay. Second question, prepare positions timing. I thought this was a good question because we uh, haven't played. So this would be news for us. Um, Twirling Twister says in the deploy in, in the deploy and pair, prepare positions. I got to learn English entry. It states that starting with blue player players alternate placing units with the prepare positions keyword on the battlefield In the prepare positions sections. It states that players may deploy, put them in bunny ears, a unit with prepare positions unless it has stationary as laid out in the stationary keyword. My question is, if both blue and red player, for the sake of this example, have three units with prepare positions and none of them have stationary, may blue player choose not to deploy a unit and see what the red player does and then decide to place a unit, or must both players place at the beginning of the deploy in prepared position step, select what unit will or will not be deployed in this way? So he's asking... I'm blue player. Can I not deploy my my prepare positions to see what my opponent does, or do we have to both do them together? My answer would be because that just just because that sounds like they're trying. It's like a kind of a gamey question. Yeah. My my thought my thought on the ruling is going to be, and we'll see if I'm wrong. Is that the ruling is that if you forego your to deploy as a blue player, then you are foregoing that stage of your of at all so you wouldn't be able to play anything so what do you wait what he's basically saying so, if i if if you have prepared position units you deploy those a, first yeah and i have prepared position units blue player has to place yeah first. you've but missed what if the timing blue player i go you no know, what if a blue player i purposely say well i don't want to deploy because i want to see what you do so i'm gonna say i'm like trying to pass my deployment I don't think you can do that. So I think if you pass, no, I think prepared positions are works. The whole yeah, yeah, exactly. So Seth says <laughs> you may not <laughs> put in bunny ears. You may not pass during deploy and prepare positions. Yep. When it is a player's mm -hmm. turn to deploy, they will deploy an eligible unit. If they choose not to, they are no longer alternating and will concede any further opportunities to deploy. Yep. So if you don't that want to sense. deploy your prepared positions. That's yeah. fine. You're just not going to deploy the rest of them, forego all that prepared nonsense. Yeah. Uh, second section, he says, players do not need to declare all units they have intent of deploying at the start of the setup. They may opt to not deploy further units. So basically, use it or lose it. So this one, very interesting with new uh, POIs. So this one is POI token overlap. This is by, I'm going to probably pronounce this wrong, J Surge, J Sarge. Entry on POI token says that objective tokens, advantage tokens, and miniatures cannot overlap or be overlapped by POI tokens, um, positions of interest. What about priority mission tokens from the complete the mission keyword? Or what about, sorry, I need to learn English. Let me phrase that. What about priority mission tokens from the complete the mission keyword, Bane tokens from Cad Bane's command cards, graffiti tokens from Sabine Wren, and Cody's rem reminder token, so the little Obi-Wan token. Are these, are any of these or any other tokens not issued by the objective, secondary, or advantage cards legal to place on top under the POI token? So what he's asking is, the plethora of tokens we have left, can I put one of Cad Bane's tokens on a POI token, like overlapping it. Sabine's graf graffiti, any type of token that's generated any other way, can I put that on a POI, even though the entry says that uh, objective tokens, advantage tokens, and miniatures cannot overlap, cannot be overlapped by POI? I'm going to say no. I don't, cannot yeah, be no. On it. So he breaks it down. Seth says, Bane tokens may not overlap objective tokens. Graffiti tokens and priority mission tokens have no such restriction and may be placed overlapping POIs. Tokens may overlap other tokens if not otherwise specified. So graffiti and complete the mission can be on top of POIs. 
tokens for various command card card effects which do not appear in the rulebook components list and which do not have a rules entry such as cody's have i ever let you down or ewoks hiding in plain sight do not have any gameplay effect and simply serve as a reminder to players effects that can and should be moved around the table as needed for objects so vein tokens can't graffiti tokens and priority mission tokens can overlap pois that's interesting Yep, yep, yep. And this one, Nick's a fan of teamwork. I like teamwork. <laughs> Does Empire have teamwork at all? No, they don't play. No. They're, They're selfish nice bastards. Um, <laughs> Wait, doesn't Mar- Marquand doesn't have any type of teamwork? No. Uh, no, he's got direct. Ah, uh, gotcha. All right, so teamwork working while one miniature is undeployed. So what this question is from Southern Dundian again. If a mini with the teamwork keyword is on the board and takes an aim or dodge action, does a corresponding miniature that is undeployed still get the token from teamwork? Now, I'm assuming he's asking this question because, once again, not have not have played the game. My understanding is that units that are deployed, so a commander or whatever, units that are undeployed are still all in range of each other. Regardless if they're on the table or undeployed. So I think that's why he's asking this question. So the question, once again, is let's say I have a uh, Jin teamwork. Does and she's on the table. She takes a dodge. Can she give that? Does, does the Cassian or other unit that's not deployed yet sitting on the sidelines? Does he get the ben or do they get the benefit of that aim or dodge that Jin takes via teamwork? My what does teamwork say? Teamwork says range two, um, but and I could be wrong, but so I'll, I'll give my answer. My thought is, my thought is yes, they would still get the token because my understanding was that when you're off the board, you're in range, range. of all your stuff. That's so, what I was thinking. So we'll see if I'm wrong. But I always say yes, you'd get the token. I guess I'll I'll, I'll just say no just to be contrarian. Also, I yeah, it's <laughs> weird because he specifically says two, like it specifically says range two, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Seth says an undeployed unit is beyond any range of units on the battlefield. Mm, okay. Because it's on so, the battlefield. That's what I was thinking too. Like it's beyond range two. Like it's not in range. Uh, my thing is like the prerequisite is it within range two? Cool. Then you get this. And if it's not, then you don't. Yep. Yep. So learning new stuff all the time. So that was it for the rules questions. Uh, so we will. Uh, figure out what we're going to do next week. We're going to move forward with uh, factions um, going, giving everybody the breakdown of what's changed, what, uh, what they do different thoughts about it. We have dedicated players for every faction. Roman will probably, we'll have to get Edward and Roman to talk about the empire. Rob too. Rob also be coming back from Gen Con. Yeah. So we'll probably have a Gen Con update from Rob too, but all right, boys, that is the end of this episode. You guys rock. Thank you for coming, Nick. I'm sorry you seem more disappointed than happy. <laughs> I'm sorry to see you so miserable. It pains me. Uh, not going to lie. I, I enjoyed it. Probably Roman did too, just watching you just loathe. This is the equivalent of going 4-0 on day one, it feels like. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be... Uh... <laughs> I'll, I'll be okay. I'll be. Okay. I'll, I'll play Jr. again. It'll make me happy. I'll. I'll cheer up. So. <laughs> he said he will live. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. We are the Legion lads. We'll see you next time. Later, guys. Yeah. Awesome. Bye.